It's always difficult to be very precise on the, the roots of the of a famine or malnutrition. Um, basically, you have two types. You have uh, conjunctural, that's uh, the drought that is affecting the country now. Especially this year, as the drought is affecting the whole country at once, as usually you have pockets of drought. So this made created a lot of problems for the peasant uh, to harvest this year. And second is more deep in the root, you have the war. As for the last 20 years, you have instability. The peasants are not anymore able to produce enough food for the country. Let's say that uh, if they can optimize the, the field, the Somali peasant can only produce about 60% of the, the needs of the population. It is very difficult to say because of the, the insecurity that is prevailing in the country. Uh, non organization can really uh, circulate through the whole country and make uh, uh, surveys. What we can see is that uh, the, the Red Cross now is present in the whole part of the country and we have nutritional centers everywhere. So we could see that uh, the malnutrition rate in all the centers just increased in the same time at the same level. Uh, we saw that uh, between March and July, the malnutrition rate mm -hmm. rise up to 11%, coming from 5%. That was already the alarming rate. And uh, the number of admissions in our centers has more than doubled. We had 3,000 in uh, March, and we got more than 6,000 in July. There is an emergency you now in Somalia, so of course, of course the first emergency answer we gave was to increase the operational capacity. We were running 39 clinics and uh, 18 nutritional centers. We increased the, the centers by 10 for the nutritional center and reinforced also the capacity of the clinics to handle the malnutrition. Uh, on the longer term, of course, what is important is to help the farmer to produce more as they cannot produce enough food for their population. So enable them to, uh, to produce more food will help Somali to cross the crisis. So we, last year we, we, uh, we gave them tools and seeds and we could pr uh, increase the production by 5% of their needs. For one organization it's a lot. For the second year in a row, the, the harvest is lost in the country and the raining season just stopped mid-July. So now we really enter the dry season. The last uh, raining season was a complete failure. So we know that uh, the next raining season is only forecast for beginning of October. So it's only at the time that the peasant can, uh, can plant and they can only harvest in December. So what is essential now is to feed the population till end of December. Then normally in January the population can go back to the normal and, uh, and feed themselves. As again, as an uh, emergency answer, we provided also food for the most vulnerable people. We just uh, accomplished the first step, that was to feed about uh, 160,000 people, and those people will be helped now till the end of the year. And depending, of course, of the funds, we can help certainly more people. Unfortunately, as the world is affecting the country for the last 20 years, we are still supporting the whole network of clinics and and hospitals that are run by uh, the Somali Red Crescent, which is uh, a partner in the field. Uh, currently, we have two, the two main hospitals in Mogadishu that are treating the war wounded. Uh, last year, we, we treated more than 6,000 people in our center, but uh, the whole assistance provided to the war wounded helped more than 10,000 people in uh, the whole country. Um, we still support also a network of clinics because vaccination is still important for the children and uh, also you have uh, basic uh, diseases like malaria that remain a big challenge for families in the grounds.